kinky sex dreams during pregnancy. Do you have them? You are in a safe space right here to admit it and to know that there is absolutely nothing wrong with you if you're having like weird dreams about exes, about a stranger, about other women. I've really heard it all with, with pregnancy sex dreams. They are incredibly normal to have. I used to have, when I was pregnant, like tons of super eerie sex dreams about exes and they'd be like trying to get to me through locked doors and I couldn't move. I didn't have good sex dreams. They weren't fun. And some women have sex dreams that are super pleasurable and they wake up really aroused. In my situation and in the situation of the women that find pleasure from those dreams, a lot of us felt ashamed about it. I felt ashamed that I was dreaming about exes. The other women felt ashamed that they were waking up turned on from these dreams. Again, lots of shame swirling around these dreams. First of all, we do not deserve to feel shame for what our subconscious mind is randomly cooking up when we're sleeping. Sleep experts, dream experts actually say that our dreams really shouldn't be taken literally. They usually represent different emotional layers that we're navigating. I've heard the belief that dreams about exes represent the emotions that we have about breaking away from our old life as you know our identity shifts and we move into motherhood. I've heard that dreams about other women represent how our sexuality, our sensuality is, is shifting as, again, we move into motherhood. So you don't have to think that if you have a dream about an ex, you want to get back with them. Or if you have a dream about that super random stranger that like you actually have the hots for them. And maybe you do, no judgment. But again, don't take your dreams literally. Another thing to consider is that a lot of us probably have a lot of these weird dreams all of the time, but we just don't remember them. But as you know, if you're pregnant, you have to wake up a lot. You're either waking up to pee, you're waking up because you're uncomfortable. And so when we're waking up more, we are remembering more of our dreams. So it might just seem like you're having more eerie, erotic dreams, but really it's, it's pretty normal. Uh, something else to consider is that during pregnancy, blood is just like flooding our genitals. There's a lot of blood pulsing down there and an increase in estrogen increases our vaginal secretions. And typically women during pregnancy are just way hornier. So that increase in arousal might be doing some stuff to your dreams very normal. If you wake up turned on, very normal. I've known women that have woken up having an orgasm. Kudos to them. I think that's awesome. If you are curious to unpack, you know, what's going on with these dreams, because it can be really illuminating and really cool to, to look at what's going on there. Again, after we take away that shame and realize that Again, we shouldn't take them literally. You can, I'm sure you've never heard this tip before, keep a dream journal. And when you wake up, just like jot down some notes about what just happened in the dream. And then again, the later time when you're feeling like calm and composed and you're not freaking out about what's going on in your mind and you're not still feeling the emotions that come right after a dream, it's really common to wake up and feel maelstrom of emotions. Um, so in a calm space, look at that dream journal and start to unpack like, what do I think are the emotional meanings behind this? Like, am I freaking out about my identity shifting? What's going on here? I think that's really cool and really interesting. I, I would love, I love hearing about weird kinky sex dreams. I think it's fascinating. If you're comfortable sharing them in the comments, I'm sure other women would also love to hear what's like going on in your pregnant brain. Um, if you're uncomfortable sharing, that's fine. Um, you can also just email me privately. My email address is below. Um, and if you want any help kind of unpacking what's going on emotionally, I, I would love to help. But again, moral of the story, do not feel shame for those dreams. It does not make you a miscreant, unfit for motherhood. It makes you super normal.